morning. This is Cookie. Coming Hummingbird Heights and it's Sunday morning, January 16th. And that noise you hear is Al covering up the uh, irrigation that he planted. So he's been working on that for quite some time. So here, let's see what he's doing. He's got some big rocks. While he's doing that, let me show you the bed that I got started. Today, I set up a bed. I added a bag of raised bed potting mix and another one of garden soil. And I added all my amendments. I have my little, my little walk around amendment cart. And I've added blood meal, bone meal, some all-purpose fertilizer, some azomite, perlite. You see all the little dots. So this will have some. Uh, we're gonna have bees, beans and peas. <laughs> this is my planter that has. I've had my cauliflower garden going, but I've got two nice kale, a red red kale and a regular one um, but I've got this side the cauliflower not as big as this side over here this side seems to be much happier nice size seedlings two three inches tall and those are coming along my bonus is that I noticed right next to them is I have some sprouts that is lettuce coming up. So that is my nice little happy bonus. There's some all over the place. Right next to, there's a nice cauliflower, but there are seedlings of lettuce coming up. And this is my shirt. We have a pea going. Oh, I hear him moving. Let's catch the action here. Taz is watching. What's he up to, Taz? Huh? Is he making noise? It's out with the tractor moving dirt to cover up the drip system that he put in for me. He's gone all around the back of the garden and off to the back side. Let me walk you out there. All this is getting buried. It's got a standpipe here. I'm thinking of having a greenhouse right along here and that one would service that. It's got double pipes here. We're gonna have a tree right here, one on this side and one on this side of the point. That could be a nice little sitting area. This is where the yellow rocks are. That's going to be a tree there. So we're going to try and get trees in between where there's so to give some shade. We have another one in here. So we've got this whole ditch is on one one set of uh, drip system. Here he's got my, the drain from the sink. He's added this. This has come out from the back. My sink is all complete today. Well, let me finish showing you this here first. And I'll go back in the back side. So there are one, two, three, got 11 pipes some will go out this way to put a couple more trees for shade along here the others will come over into here at various distances so he's got it to where he can just run them in and put the trees stagger them so we'll have that in this whole area here 
it goes right out to about here over to that pipe is sticking up so he's got the drain here and instead of he's just instead of it just washing out he's got it going out to water the tree brilliant idea get in the back gate it's stubborn there we go hey Taz met you on the other side so this is the back gate doing it one-handed of course this is my sink I have a sink this was an old table that I found with the top was all curling up in wood and it was destroyed and it became my new sink base so he added a countertop and overhead we should have a I should have an awning over this section so this will be my potting area running water Yes, it looks terrible, but it works. He put a little flexi pipe under there. And that's gonna work for all my potting section. Got a rack here that's gonna turn into probably a, a seedling rack. Got my lettuces all going here. All these are doing really well in this. I've got them covered with bird netting, but everything's doing really well. Romaine lettuce, red leaf, red curly leaf, and some green leaf. Swiss chard back there. I got more romaine. Different lettuces up here. Just kind of a mix. They're going to go into this bed now that it's cleaned up from the tomatillos. I still have radicchio and kohlrabi, which I harvested one the other day. They're getting, getting, they're getting bulbs, so they're getting... I have a couple of peppers that made it. They're under protection from the cold until things warm up a bit. But I'm just waiting for the tomatoes. They're all damaged and dying, but I'm waiting for them to ripen. And I've been harvesting some every day. These are my romas. I'm gonna make a sauce out of those. Those are my paste tomatoes. My garlic have all sprouted up and I only planted them a little over a week ago but they were already sprouted in the refrigerator. I put them in the refrigerator to get them stratified so they'd have some cold and they were in there maybe longer than needed but hey they sprouted and now I've got early early ones. So this is these are this one is going to make it. They're nice pretty leaves. It's not burnt there it's got tomatoes here so this is a larger tomato i believe it was a beef steak oops more romas teaspoon tomatoes that died but there's look at all these little baby berries this is beef steak that the the plant's not making it but i'm waiting for these to ripen up and i can either make them sauce or if they don't get there but this is what's what's left after that freeze my sweet potatoes I got all the dead leaves off and I've got them covered to see if we can get some to carry on so we'll see I redid my beds with fresh soil for potatoes so my bag soil area I just redid those are all ready for planting and I have some seed potatoes that are trying to get, uh, as soon as they get sprouted. Now this is my cauliflower that I planted a while back and it's actually, they're getting heads, good size heads. So this one is more than a handful. And uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, probably a half a dozen or more there. This is the, the red, cabbage and it's it's very slow growing maybe it needed more um, amendments but this first batch of soil that I set up last summer I don't think it had a, enough amendments in it 
So, and they say when you make a whole new bed, sometimes that happens. So I heavily amended this area and we are gonna see what we get. So we'll just say happy Sunday afternoon as Al continues to bury his pipes and we'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. do that well. Alright guys, see you all soon. Thanks for hanging.